Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina and in today's video, I want to share something that is very close to my heart. I will be sharing four habits that have exponentially improved my life. These habits I have implemented in my life over a year ago now and honestly, it's one of the best decisions I have made for myself. And without further ado, let's roll on onto the first habit. The first habit that improved my life is meditating every single morning. Like I said, I have been doing this over a year ago now and my emotional awareness has improved so much. Right when I wake up, I just take 10 minutes, that's all it takes, 10 minutes to myself just to be. I'm still in bed, covered, close my eyes, and what I do, I just concentrate on my breath and notice how it is right as I wake up. Some days it's pretty calm and it's just like, you know, like a like a regular nice and deep breath. Other days it's pretty shallow. This gives me the opportunity to tune in within myself and actually feel and be aware of how I'm feeling that day. What I do when my breath is pretty shallow right when I wake up, I purposely take very deep breaths. And this allows me to just calm down and actually relax. And also it gives me the opportunity to ask myself how I really am feeling. At the beginning when I started this, it was so hard for me to just lay and just be and what i would do would be i would close my eyes and i would concentrate on my breathing but then all of a sudden i would just start replaying experiences that i had the day before a week before a year ago and sometimes even about all the things that i needed to get done that day i would literally be replying to emails in my head that I had read the night before that I needed to reply that day. And then my 10 minutes would be up and I started realizing like, oh, like, okay, my brain is so busy that I can't even concentrate on breathing for 10 minutes. And as time kept going, I still, I still pretty much had those repeating thought patterns and experiences that I had, but the difference was that I was able to acknowledge them and like so fast snap out of them and instead of concentrating on those thoughts i was able to concentrate on how they made me feel and once i realized how those thoughts and previous experiences made me feel i was able to just ask myself like why why does this interaction made me feel that way and with repetition i started to realize one thing that all of this interactions playing in my head and all this random thoughts it all came down to insecurities and fears that i had that made me feel a certain way i was able to notice the thoughts ask myself how they made me feel and then why they made me feel and eventually i found the answer so yes it was a long process but with practice i was able to do that every single day in less than 10 minutes sometimes and it was honestly like mind-blowing after being aware of all of these thoughts i was able to create a game plan as to how i was going to naturally just start having more positive thoughts about positive things that actually happened the previous day or that are going to happen in the future but taking those 10 minutes in the morning to just close my eyes and visualizing what it felt like to not be fearful or insecure about those certain interactions or experiences as i went on with my life i started to actually have more positive thoughts and feelings and eventually because i started feeling better i started to take action and little by little i noticed that i became a more positive person with a more positive outlook and not looking for the bad in every scenario and that has in a way isn't at my anxiety i'm sorry not my anxiety the anxiety that i had and by just having a more positive outlook and not get down on things so easily 
I just started to attract better things in my life. And I honestly, I'm so happy I made, I started meditating in the first place. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really not a talker. Like I don't talk as much. I'm making these videos is actually putting me out of my comfort zone to just talk a little bit more and it feels it feels good but that being said because i don't have a lot of practice in talking <laughs> my throat gets really dry pretty easy oh by the way look at this cup and i'm gonna stay home with my dogs and this cup one of my very good friends karina gave it to me when i was working at my previous job and it in a way it triggered something in my life um Thank you, Karina, if you're watching. Okay, moving on on to the second habit that has improved my life. And that is going for a walk every single day, regardless of the weather. Now, I am the type of person that if I don't need to leave the house, I will not leave the house. I love being home. My home is my safe space. It's lovely in here, it's beautiful, it's cozy, I have food, I can use the bathroom. Like, I love being home. But, being in nature, seeing a tree, experiencing the sun in your face, experiencing the cold, the snow, the rain, is in a weird way also beautiful. And I am not going to lie to you guys and say that I absolutely love the winter and the snow but when i am out even when it's snowing or raining and it's really cold and i'm just out walking and experiencing life as it is it started to bring me joy and yes some of the weather conditions and even people make me uncomfortable but there is beauty in being uncomfortable i have actually been appreciating a lot more being uncomfortable because I have found that it's necessary for my own growth and I have noticed that after successfully conquering an uncomfortable situation it makes me feel very good and because I am walking just to walk without a certain destination it almost feels like a meditation a meditation where i am outside in the real world where anything could happen but i am moving forward and i get to experience the little things like that random wind going in my face or my eyes because we're wearing masks these days but just like the way the, the leaves in the trees move and the sun and even like the cold cold weather it just reminds me that i am alive and i am feeling this because i am alive and these are the little things that i wouldn't really notice or acknowledge if i were to just be going with going on with my life like getting out to do errands or whatever the case is and what is like the cherry on top is that my dogs get to come with me it's like the three of us just walking and experiencing the wind, the cold, and feeling like this world belongs to us and we're just like walking peacefully. And yeah, it, it's like a, like a true bonding experience where we're just being, moving forward and just enjoying life as it is. And that's honestly like my one of my favorite parts of my day. The third habit that has improved my life is saying no to things that I want, but I know are not good for me or for the goals that I want to achieve. As I went in life, this was probably one of the hardest things for me to do, but the more I practiced it, the better I became and the easier it got. And honestly, it has made me a lot more confident with myself. In the past, if I wanted pizza, I would get pizza. If I wanted Mexican food, I would get Mexican food. If I wanted Thai food, I would get Thai food. If I wanted anything, I would get it that same day. While 
treating yourself is not necessarily a bad thing the bad thing was that i was doing this every single day not just the weekends or once a week or once a month i was doing this every single day and this became a problem because it started affecting my health and although i knew that i also knew that the moment i had that food sitting in front of me i would be the happiest girl in the world and while i was eating it i was also so happy but the minute it was gone i went back to being sad or anxious or whatever the case was i would feel bad physically because my stomach would be hurting from being so full and on top of that i would feel so guilty because i knew that my body didn't need all of that saying no to eating like this every day has actually made me mentally stronger physically healthier and also opened a door to questioning what was i fulfilling and finding a concrete answer and once i had those answers it was easier for me to work on those issues that i had instead of eating my feelings away and i don't have the need to eat like this every single day i don't crave it anymore this is just an example but the overall growth i have seen by having self-discipline that comes from a place of love and respect has made me grow so much mentally spiritually and physically as well this has also made me believe in myself and my abilities to achieve my goals and have a better life for myself overall habit number four that has improved my life is checking on a loved one every single day i am the type of person that dislikes getting phone calls calling people unless it's absolutely necessary. That being said, I have added under that absolutely necessary category, calling my parents every day. And I have also gotten into the habit of texting my friends more often just to check on them and let them know that I love them and that I am here for them. I have found that every single person in this world is always going through something. It's just part of life. Whether that something is good or bad, I want to take a minute out of my day just to text my friends and call my parents to let them know that I love them and I am here for them in the good and the bad. One day I won't be here and one day my loved ones won't be here and I just want to take action while, while we're both here and let them know that I appreciate them and they're always in my mind while they're here if that makes sense checking on my friends and just overall calling my parents has actually made me grow closer to them and it has created more of an open communication between us this actually helped me be a lot more genuine with my parents and my friends and like not being scared of hurting their feelings when i am being honest about something that i feel towards them or vice versa and it's just a beautiful and it's just a beautiful thing to have with the people you love. So we have come to the end of the video and just to summarize, the four habits that have improved my life tremendously is one, meditating every single day, two, going for a walk every single day regardless of the weather, three, saying no to things that I want but I know are not good for me or for my goals, and four, checking on a loved one every single day. I hope that with this video I gave you enough insight so that maybe you would want to try some of these habits and if you already do this on the daily, what are some habits that help you improve your life or something that you would want to share with me that maybe I could try? Um, leave that in the comments and yeah, let's have a chat about that. Thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way here and I will see you on the next video. Bye!